too fast. Yeah, I th well, I think to be honest, people will be more, more comfortable with the, with the bull run for Sterling if we do actually get a couple of days of, of, of retracement. I think you, you don't want people to get, if you like, excessively euphoric about it because then, as you say, you do get this overextension and then you get a, a very pronounced correction. I think in general, to be honest, people who, who have, if you like, got this right, they, they should be taking profits at this point ahead of 170 on cable because you do have the Bank of England looming on Thursday. If, for example, they were to expand their quantitative easing program, I think that would be potentially a, a big downside for sterling in the short term. So I think if you've got profits there, I imagine people will be locking them in today. So uh, we may, may actually see just a little bit of a pullback this morning. Dara, how important is uh, the 170 level? Well, to be honest, there's not many technical constraints thereafter, and I think for that reason it is actually quite important as a psychological uh, resistance. Um, I think after that then we quickly open ourselves up to 172.50. So uh, I, th I think this is a nice level, it provides a nice excuse to, to look again. Uh, maybe we pull back to 168.30, something like that, before rebuilding to the top side. Uh Euro, let's move on to that. I mean, we've seen it fall back slightly here against uh, the dollar yeah. and the yen, but it does remain pretty stubborn, doesn't it? Yeah, well, actually, I would say over the last week or so, you, you, know, you talked about Sterling making good gains over a sequence of days. The euro, if anything, was uh, a little bit reluctant to capitalize on dollar weakness. Um, the, there seemed to be good sellers in Asia every time I got above 143. Now we're through that level. Um, some, some of those sellers at least stepped to the sidelines for now. Um, but again, it, it just seems one, I would say, one of the ones that seems slightly slower to capitalize uh, than others like Aussie, like Sterling, etc. So, um, Dara. reluctant participant. Dara, what's your trade of the day? Um, I think for now you still would sell Sterling and look to buy on any of the dips. I think that would be the, the short term play um, and perhaps similarly on the Euro. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Darren Mother, he's uh, from Callian, uh, joining us there to go through their currency strategy at the moment. Uh, just going to count you down. We're counting you down.